Okay, if you want to know how to connect your Synology to your PC or Mac directly, then watch this video. Because you might be wondering, like, oh, I got two LAN ports. Maybe there's a use for it. So there is a use for it. You could connect both of them to your switch and uh, enable load balancing. So instead of having one gigabit network shared across all users, you can have two sort of rivers uh, shared between all users. So that, that's a way to speed up things. Or you can link aggregate and merge these two LAN connections together and have 200 megabits, uh, 200 gigabit, what, two gigabit a second uh, speed. Uh, that's an option. But um, you also might want to have your own private uh, uh, connection, your LAN connection. You don't want to share with others the LAN. So you connect one LAN port to the network, other one just to your PC. Or if you want to run the initial backup uh, before you do the remote backups, you bring your NAS here to the office. Uh, do the initial backup, which is like maybe 10 terabytes of uh, storage uh, synchronized with your unit, and then you can take it away. But um, there are many ways of uh, doing these things. Uh, or you may actually want to as well add a USB adapter from a QNAP. It's experimental, people doing that, it's working. You can uh, use USB port and have five gigabit uh, LAN port on your Synology if you want to do that, and then connect directly to your um, 10 gigabit uh, PC or Mac. And uh, okay, let's uh, let's have a look how to do how to set this thing set these things up. Because first, what you need to do is um, set the manual IP on your Synology if you don't have set this up already. Because if you have dynamic IP address, this may change every time uh, Synology is uh, switched off. It might receive different IP, and therefore you need to uh, recreate all connections with your PC. So if you want it to be static, you just go to Synology. You can use Synology Finder and go to your NAS, uh, or you can use IP address and go to the VSM settings as well. Go to Control Panel, go to um, Network Settings, go to Network Interface, and then choose um, which LAN port you want to use for direct connection with your PC. So in my case, it's going to be LAN 2. Um, to edit, use manual configuration. You, if you have already IP address um, assigned from DHCP, you may use that IP address and keep that. So in, in my case, uh, I'll use 10.04.233.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
small g is a new IP, which we set manually. So it was um, 210. Hit enter. And let's have a look if it's going to be working or if it's not going to work. If you give, give you a second, it should uh, load up. You can also use uh, Synology Assistant to uh, search for the NAS with that new LAN port. It should be visible. Uh, so now you can see there are two connections 720 with 123, ending IP address, another one with 210. So in this case, it means it has been found and you can use it. If you want to. Um, you want to map that map this on your computer go to my computer click on my uh, this pc map network drive and then do backslash backslash 10 0 10 0 4 210 this is the manual ip we set for the synology and then you can do let's say video fold, video shared folder you can map click finish uh, it's going to be asking for username and password of the, on the NAS. So you can do whatever you got. Uh, we'll do my password. Super difficult. Click to remember my credentials so you don't need to do this again once you reboot your computer. So once that is done, look, now we've got direct connection from Snorgy to a PC map on your my computer list. So every time you want to access, it's going to be uh, showing up next to your C drive or D drive. So you just click that and go in there. You've got the connection. Um, if you want to, let's have a look again why that DSM didn't load. Now it's loading. So also you can access your Snorgy DSM directly as well through the browser. So it's all working now. If you've got um, any other questions, you can always go to NAS Compares, fill the form on the right hand side, or send email to Info NAS Compares and if the question will be interesting, we can shoot a video like this and uh, this way we can help others as well. Have a lovely day yourself.